Here is a journal bearing 6266 that I did a repair, upgrade, and a rebuild for. So to give you an idea, if you have a 6262 and the compressor wheel rubs, well, you're pretty much out of luck for trying to get a stock compressor wheel for a decent price, if you can even find one. So what I had to do to fix this unit is I had to use a 2mm Superback compressor plate, which is nearly impossible to find these days. That's one part that I do want to start offering. And so I just happened to find one that I had laying around. So I machined that for the GTX 35A2R compressor wheel, which has the 2.35mm Superback height. And that fits on the 2mm plate pretty nicely and then I had to machine that and then I was able to machine the compressor housing so that it would fit the wheel. Once I did all that machine work it's a direct fit and it looks pretty nice and will flow really nice also. The original 6262 and 6266 compressor plate is actually a 5 millimeter super back height so Finding the 2mm Superback plates are much more rare, however if you do want to keep the 5mm Superback plate, you can actually use a T67 compressor wheel that is 66.6x84x90 by by and that would be a great option to make a 6766 out of this turbo also. This turbo is just a journal bearing repair that I did. However, I have two more that are going to be ball bearing variations and one more that's going to be a journal bearing variation. So stay tuned to watch what I do with those turbos. And also uh, subscribe if you want to see more videos just like this one.